Hello everybody, I'm Slash VC. Welcome back to the Cataclysm. It's time to play with our characters Kanji Gurokawa and Birdie Hodges. We're back from the city, and I thought it'd be nice to do a little loot reveal before we sort everything out. We got a uh, pistol and uh, two clips. This is uh, 40 SNW and 20 rounds of ammo. A combat knife and a grenade and... Uh, I think we had the acetylene torch, I just got that out of the car, but we got the uh, cast iron dutch oven. And another hot plate. Plus locking pliers, mortar and pestle, bolt cutters, and so on. Uh, then we came off with pages of food. Ranging from candied honey to pickled veggies, fruit jam, beer, vinegar, broth, canned chickens, hard cheese, and dried rice, and so on. More clean water, dark cola, lemonade, sports drinks, toastums, wheat cereal, etc. Also, a ton of drugs, including cigarettes, bandages, painkillers, galore. I think we can stop picking up aspirin for a little while. Anti-parasitic drugs. The coveted antipsychotics. All the way to multivitamins. Which I think we need to remember to take those every day. Lots of antiseptics and cough syrup, heartburn medicine. A whole lot more multivitamins. We came out with a whole bunch more books. As well as a basketball, which we trained up our Dodge. All the way down to more duct tape, more light batteries, more strings, cotton balls, super glue, welding wire, more cigarettes, another jerry can, six folded cardboard boxes, and some clothing. I'm going to hit the sort button and put everything where it goes. Wonderful. Next, I'm going to craft some food real quick and then we're going to get on our way. The reason I want to have a look at the food is because I love making cookies. What the heck is aspic anyway? Nope, we're not going to get distracted. I love making cookies. I love making cookies because they have up to 800 calories and they last for eight weeks. That's pretty good. Then we've got the ability now to make granola, which is going to give us, uh, looks like, up to 7% of our calcium, up to 43% of our iron, and up to 100% of our vitamin C. It will last a season. That's pretty good. Hard tack's even better. It's got a negative quench, up to 500 calories. Pretty good vitamins and stuff. It lasts three seasons. Looking at our ingredients list, mainly we need flour for that, and the cookies, and the granola, salt, and clean water. Now, we have a lot of flour right now, so it looks like we can make some food that will last a while. I'm going to start by making a few cookies. And we'll just make a... Oh, wait, we want to get um, Birdie to help with this craft. There we go. Yeah, let's go ahead and make like... Uh, I think this makes, oh, it makes four cookies each. So if I say, I just want to make, say, a batch of four cookies. Am I going to have enough charges in my charcoal cooker? 32 charges in the charcoal cooker. I think it has 40 in it, so we can make that many at a time just with the charcoal cooker. And then we'll have plenty of other ingredients. So let's do a batch craft on that, and we'll use... Whichever one has the most calories. And it looks like the dried rice has the most calories. I'm just going by calorie count here. Let's see, the molasses will have the most calories. And either we can use up our oranges. We'll make orange cookies using the charcoal cooker. Oh, I want to make a comment about the sound quality. I want to thank everyone who uh, stuck it out through all those horrible sound quality um, episodes that we had. I finally found the reason. Alright, now we're just going to craft up some uh, granola too. I probably have to reload the charcoal smoker. We hit reload. And that, I've got the charcoal right beside my chair. There we go. That's going to work good. So I want to make some, uh, see the pie will only last how long? Three days, whereas the granola will last 
one season. So let's make some of that. One granola will take 20 charges. So I think we can do two granola on the charges that we have. Yeah, 40 charges. And how many granola will it make? It'll make 12. So we'll make two of those. Using the dried rice. And just going for calorie count here. Candied honey. And... Wow, peanut butter candy can go into that. Look at that, a craft with candy or chocolate candy. Let's do that. We'll use the charcoal cooker because we can make so much charcoal and it doesn't use up our batteries. Anyway, what was the problem with the audio? Well, I made the most cataclysm mistake ever. Um, I was doing my sound tests with a uh, off-screen character who had earplugs in. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. My character had in earplugs. I got my sound all... Oh, let's reload the charcoal cooker. All right, this is so easy. I love this. This is the meta, y'all. Well, no, the meta would be to use... Um, uh, to use, what do you call those things? Solar panels and batteries and an electric oven, right? We're going to make a little bit of hard tack. You get one per and... Looks like I can only make about two of these with my current charcoal charges. Let's use the soy sauce for the calories. We'll use the charcoal cooker. Ooh, this is a little bit longer craft. And it's going to get dark on us. Darn it, I'll have to light the candle. I wanted to do this so we can start our adventure in the morning. We'll go ahead and get some sleep, you know. All right, let's apply the end process hard tack. Um, yeah, so I got this off-screen character. Uh, he's got earplugs in, and I don't know it. And I'm trying to get my sound configured. I think, oh yeah, I got everything uh, correct. And then guess what happens? I load up uh, one of my uh, recording characters that don't have their earplugs in, and my volume is all screwed up, and I could not figure it out to save my life. Absolutely crazy cataclysm problem. I hadn't I didn't really think about the effect that the earplugs have. So like on that character, I had to turn everything. I was palp, uh, piping the sound in to like a, a gain filter to gain it up and compress it back down so I could pick up his footsteps and then I'd load up Kanji Kurakawa and his footsteps would be all distorted sounding because they were coming in loud and the compressor was trying to compress them back down and stuff like that. But I'm not going through any loops now. Um, right now I just have my uh, music set to 15 and my sound effect volume at max and I've done a extensive testing today before I started recording and I hope it's about right as far as the music volume goes what I did was I went into I'm using the auto pack so I went into auto pack and I deleted all of the auto pack stuff because some of it is um, copyrighted and that's why I haven't been using it and I took the uh, sound that I usually use for my ambient or background music and I put it in the auto pack folder. And so now the game is just kind of natively playing, you know, those OG, OG, dot .ogg files. All right, so I want to eat some of this stuff. This is this I'm going to slowly build up a supply of, I think. How many of these do I have? Does it tell me? Cuz I may I may want to bring some to the bums too. I'm trying to cook for the bums. It's not telling me how many's here. Ah, there it is. It says 12 portions there, and this should say, what, two portions, right. We could bring like six portions of granola with us and go feed the bums, but for now I'm just going to eat some cookies. We'll eat four cookies, and I think we've got some water over here I can drink. Yeah. And there we go. I'm going to grab um, six of these. And we'll go feed the bums. I want to uh, favorite that item so I don't accidentally drop it. Like that. And... I can drop my uh, cooker over here too because I don't need to actually carry that on me. And there we go. 
Um, Birdie? I'm sleepy. How about you? Did she shut the door behind her? Yes, she did. Here, I'm going to let you have the blanket tonight. Either way, we're going to wait till morning, whether Kunji falls asleep or not. Because I want to... St ah, there he goes. Very good. Yeah, Kunji and Birdie are going to turn in for the night. Rest up. We'll get in the car and we'll go down and uh, feed the bums. And bring the cardboard boxes to Dino Dave. I have a suspicion that my quest with Dino is probably not over yet, but that's okay. I have heard that if you help Dino out, the other bums are more likely to join your party, so we'll try that. Um, and also, I've got some drive belts. I want to swing by the um, uh, sawmill, drop off the drive belts, and see how those folks are doing. And if I was a real gentleman, me and Bertie would... Oh, good morning, Bertie. How nice to see you again. Is Birdie still asleep? She's got a slightly different... Um, do I talk to her or examine her status? There's a way to see if she's sleeping. Oh, I think I use X. She's friendly, following, and aware of my presence. No, she's not asleep. Okay, cool. She is up and at him. Good girl. All right, we've got food for the bums. The other thing I want to make sure we've got is uh, cardboard. Okay, so we've got two, two. We should have a bunch of cardboard boxes just sitting around. Um, okay, they're not there. They got sorted, I guess. And I may have them in my inventory, too. There's nothing ever easy. That may have cardboard boxes inside of it, I think. Uh, can I page? No, it's not paged down. There, this way. What's stored inside that? It's not telling me. But anyway, it's over there. Let's go have a look at it. I think that's the one I'm looking for. Yeah, there's six cardboard boxes right here. And I think they're all inside of another one, possibly. Let's grab the steel jerry can and the plastic jerry can and bring that with us. Great. Make sure we've got everything packed in the car correctly. There should be cardboard boxes. There's 33 of them there. And the drive belts. So we are ready for the mission. We'll drop the jerry cans and the cardboard boxes off. And that me. Oh, does it tell me it's full? No. Okay. That's 39 small folded boxes. We are one short. So we will grab. We got one over here. Uh, take the one with the tea bags. Uh, unload the one with the tea bags. And we'll drop the tea bags and sort them. I guess they are a um, food item. Fruit tea bags. Oh, there was also instant coffee mix, which I don't need on me. Okay, sort everything out, and then we can fold the box. Uh, I want to get away from stuff so it's easier to apply things. I just want to apply that box. Uh, where did it go? I unloaded it. Drugs. Tools, weapons, guns, and items worn. Huh.
Well, let's try this again. Unload. That small cardboard box. That had... That had books in it. Wow, I really need to have an unload zone. Small cardboard box of tea bags. I thought I unloaded that. Oh, you know what I bet I did? I bet it unloaded into another box or something. Huh. So I have a small cardboard box of tea bags that I can seemingly not unload. The small cardboard box of tea bags is already empty. Does that make sense to you? Because it doesn't make sense to me. Alright, let's drop the small cardboard box of tea bags. We've still got a small cardboard box in our inventory, which I should be able to activate. I can fold it up. You drop that, you fold the box. Okay. Sort everything back out. I've still got the box. <laughs> Alright, that was harder than I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. I can now drop that one there, and now I can verify that we have 40 of the dang things to give to what's-his-name. We have emergency food and water on us. We have more emergency medicine. We have Molotovs and pipe bombs in the car. We did not bring the grenade with us, but I think we'll be okay. I think we're ready to go talk to Dino. <clears throat> Swap positions with me, darling. I'm going to close this, and I think we are ready to go. Alright, very good. Let's check our map. And this may prove to be an adventure. I don't know. Let's see if I can auto-drive all the way. Somebody in the comments, thank you very much informed me that the um, riot control platform is probably out of ammunition. You are in a vehicle but not driving. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. We have started the vehicle. Auto drive canceled, can't see a path forward. Oop. I wonder if it can see a path forward now. Oh, you know what it is? It's the bridge that's in the way, of course. Here we go. Yes, we have to drive over our own bridges. Hey, this is exciting stuff. We may pick up some NPCs, you know, or whatever. All right, now that we've crossed that bridge, we should be able to do this. And actually, if that riot control platform is out of ammo, then couldn't I go up to it and disassemble it? Let's see if it shoots at us. She says, get that up. Oh. Riot control platform definitely is not out of ammo. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, somebody had talked about... Uh, did I... Oh, oh, Kanji slammed on the brakes automatically. It fired its array. Dang, that definitely hit the car. Um, okay, excellent, <laughs> this is going to be interesting, let's kick it up to 12 miles an hour, hopefully we're going fast enough the bullets, no, he definitely shot the car again, it's not giving me any notifications that the car is damaged though, I like what Birdie said, get down! There's a riot control platform south, out on the horizon, so don't worry much. Wait a minute, didn't you just say, get down? Anyway, 
Um, yeah, if they run out of ammo... Okay, the other one's shooting now. Then we could let them run out of ammo, come down here and disassemble them, I think. So it's shooting, but it's not telling me that I've taken any damage. Or that the vehicle's taken any damage. Alright, I think it's out of ammo. Yep. Alright, on our way back, I think I will uh, come out here and try to disassemble these two. Because it appears to me that they both ran out of ammunition now. Interesting. So you could just drive around these things, run them out of ammo, and then what? You've got access to the whole roadblock. And what you've got on here, we've got um, some double-lot shot, and what else do we see? Nothing really. Rip, oh, excuse me, rip Kevlar vest. Attack vest. Hmm. Two vehicles. We might be able to get a little gasoline from. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Well, that was interesting. I'd say Kanji's driving skill has gotten... Whoa! Well, I was going to brag on his driving skill there. And here we go, past the mass grave sites and the other stuff. That means that riot control platform down at the mass grave site, most likely out of ammunition. So that whole thing was a waste. I wanted to go down to the dairy farm after the riot control platform killed all the zombies, but that's not going to happen. So I guess I'm going to have to go out there with some Molotovs and just see how much damage we can do. And by now, day 76, some of them have probably evolved. So that's going to be an ugly scene. You know, we probably ought to work on getting a mounted gun on this thing that Birdie can... Uh, man, then we can just maybe drive past them. And let her blaze. Oh, wait, we've got the... Um, Oh yeah, we need to mount the uh, flamethrower to the prison van. It's going to be a whole project of its own, isn't it? Driving down this destroyed highway gives me apocalyptic vibes, seeing all the potholes. I'm just glad they don't hurt my tires. How many of these cardboard boxes can we carry? Whoops. We picked up all 40 of them. Heck yeah. Alright, Birdie, let's go talk to the bums. Have you met the bums before? Where's Dino Dave? Hey, what's up, Dino? He says, hey, you got the little ones yet? What do you mean? No, not yet. I got them all on me. Not yet. How are things with you? My cardboard collection is getting quite impressive. Wait a minute. About that shopping list of yours. No, I don't have it yet. What do you mean I don't have it yet? Uh oh, check the mission map. 40 small cardboard boxes. Inventory. 40 small folded cardboard boxes. Are you all freaking serious? I've got to unfold the cardboard boxes. 
or they don't count. Wow. Okay. Activate. You can't use a small folded cardboard box there. What? Oh no. Can be assembled. Is this a crafting thing? Read, eat, wear, wield, throw, change side, take off, drop, unload, reload, mend, disassemble, favorite. View recipe. You wonder if it's even possible to craft. Small cardboard box can be made from five cardboards and duct tape. Or, no, I do not have to tape these things back together. This is a cardboard box, not a small cardboard box. But anyway, you could use a folded one and duct tape for that. Oh no, oh no, here it is. <gasps> because I folded them, it used the duct tape. No, no, no. Wait, 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 this, is, this can't be right. Small cardboard box, five cardboards, or small cardboard box, five cardboards. Oh, it's going to take five duct tape each because I folded them. That's 200 duct tape. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. Oh, my God, that is bullshit. <laughs> wow. Okay, um, Birdie. <clears throat> hey, maybe we can buy the duct tape, right? Let's see if we can buy two, 200 duct tape. <laughs> the merchant's name is Smokes. Let's chat with Smokes. Hey, Smokes, uh, let's trade. You got any duct tape? Ooh, he's got more oxyacetylene. I should probably buy that. Oh, uh, man. I don't think he's got a spare part. Is that a spare part? Okay. He's got 173 duct tape. That's not enough duct tape. Not to mention. Well, I mean, it's only two cents each, so that's not bad. He does not have enough duct tape. I say he, uh, apparently he is wearing a sundress, or no, is he selling a sundress? I can't tell. I think Smokes is a he. Smokes, merchant. You know, I know that this is why the um, lot of people on YouTube and uh, Twitch and stuff have started referring to everyone as they, but this is something about that that I find a little strange and irritating because I'm always like, not every monster is a they, but I can kind of see why they do that. And then I keep messing up. I thought Birdie was male this whole time until I really investigated. Now it's hard to really tell. We just both look like badasses. I guess we're going to have to go get the daggum duct tape. Unbelievable. Mmm. Didn't see that coming. Probably gonna have to siphon some gas while we're out, actually, because we're down to 6%. We weren't very successful siphoning gas in the town, unfortunately. I think once we clear the fence, we can uh, drive at our leisure. 
Well, I guess we might as well <clears throat> pop out at the riot control platform area and have a look at that. Just so um, our trip back isn't a total waste. Who knows what will happen. I'm glad we've got a relatively safe route back and forth. I'd say that. <clears throat> but evolution could cause anything to happen. Drive right past this pit bull. <clears throat> <laughs> well, <clears throat> hopefully my mistake can inform someone who watches this and says, I want to do Dino Dave's quest. And I know now to bring um, duct tape with me. I just saw two bodies in the water back there, too. I have to check that out on the way back. I would say that that has run out of ammo. Very interesting. I'm going to um, stop driving. Hop out. Yep, I don't hear any gunfire. I think we're good. Let's see if we can siphon from this vehicle. I'm going to apply my rubber hose. Yeah, pour into. I didn't get my jerry cans, actually. Eh. We can use the gallon size zipper bags for now. Lug wrench and the scissor jack, we already have. <clears throat> By the way, is the vehicle any good? dented with enough wheels it's a police car with 45 percent battery and i just drained the fuel there's no faulty parts that require mending interesting now here's the thing i want to examine a little bit more closely this is a mil spec searchlight and here what do we have a backup generator Is, that, is the generator have uh, fuel in it? It looks like it's got a little nuclear signal on it. If I go into my build menu here, and I deconstruct furniture. Ah, okay, if I bring my screwdriver with me, I could disassemble the mil spec searchlight. Huh. Um, should have a screwdriver in my tool compartment here. Here we go. No, it's going to let me deconstruct a sandbag. Uh-huh, I don't need sandbags. Is it simple furniture? No, it's not. Okay, so we can't deconstruct the mil-spec searchlight, apparently. Uh, she's attacking the searchlight. She swept it. <laughs> you heard Bertie say, Gah, what is that? Well, I think it was the uh, searchlight exploding, my dear. I want to see if I can disassemble. Yeah, I can. So I can deconstruct this generator. Oh, can I examine it? No, if I look at it like this, Ubiquitous piece of compact machinery. Currently running. It's got the nuclear symbol on it, so maybe I don't want to do this, but I'm going to try to take it down. Okay. What did it turn into? Oh, 
It gave us a steel jerry can with JP8. It was running on JP8 fuel. And it dropped a diesel engine. Bearings, scrap metal, sheet metal. Huh. Well, I wanted to bring the generator back with me. So I guess I need to see if I can uh, drag the other one to the car or something. Huh. Okay. JP8 fuel. Well, that's something to bear in mind. Should we grab that jerry can? No, I can't. It doesn't fit in any pocket. Can I now assemble a generator? Let's see. Place a makeshift nitrogen generator. Requires a nitrogen generator. Hmm. Interesting. Place. See if they've got anything here. Welding rigs, forges, drill presses, routers. So I don't see anything here about that particular type of generator. Wonder why. Maybe it's beyond my knowledge right now. All right. Let's examine this vehicle here. This one is apparently empty on gasoline. It's got a battery. All right, well, no, no dice on that. So down here, we've got the actual riot control platform. If I examine it, it says there is a riot control platform. You hear, Chuck. uh, did it reload? I hope not. <clears throat> I can't get it, so let's try deconstructing it. Nope, I can't deconstruct it. Hmm, so what do I do? Just smash it? I can't hit... I can hit E. And it says there is a riot control platform. Let's examine it more closely. These Talon-derived riot control platforms are widely publicized. They are adopted by prisons and inner-city police forces. It shoots autonomously. It requires a human operator to relocate. So it's not mobile anymore. Not mobile anymore. Do you hack these things or something? Kanji doesn't have hacking skills. Human operator to relocate. See if I can grab it. There's nothing to grab there. Hmm. That hints the, at the idea that we could relocate it. Yeah, look at there. Four spent casings. So there you go. Well, let's smash it and see what we get. Um, we need to wield the fire axe to do that. Oh, wait. What about the Halligan bar? No. Doesn't look like that does anything. Uh, okay. If I try to smash it... Oh, there we go. If I smash it, I'm just smashing the pavement. Okay, I hit it for 28. I destroyed it. So, I can destroy it in two hits. It's a cut broken by a control platform. Now, let's see what we can do if we disassemble that. <clears throat> you need a soldering iron to disassemble it. Can I pick it up? Oh, now I could move it. Huh. Interesting. Could I reassemble it now? Let's look at Riot. No. Alright then. All very interesting. I don't know if I brought my soldering iron or not. I guess we'll leave the other Riot Control platform up in case we figure out what to do with them. Uh, I'll see if I've got my soldering iron. If not, I can bring it with me on my way back down. Okay, we'll grab the soldering iron while we're at home getting the uh, duct tape. Wow, she's fast. 
How did she do that so fast? Oh. I want to refill the low tank with the gallon size zipper bag. There we go. And we're back to 8%. <clears throat> well, good to know that I could take it down in two hits with a fire axe. Um, drive around it till it runs out of ammo and smash it. That's all you got to do. I was terrified of those things. But maybe I had those mixed up with the uh, actual lethal turrets that I've heard about. I haven't actually seen any of these turrets, but I've watched a few people play um, Cataclysm and they, their runs ended uh, with that. It's some kind of living creature. Syringe out there. Lemming. Okay. Surely I don't have to worry about a lemming. Should have a whole bunch of duct tape here. Oh yeah, there we go. Got a small cardboard box <laughs> with uh, 300 duct tape inside. That'll do. Um, should we grab the soldering iron? Yeah, I think so. So I think our tools are here and there should be Hmm, no soldering iron there. Books, tools. Really? Kanji doesn't have a soldering iron? That surprises me. Yeah, apparently not. Well, we'll have to put that on our to-do list. We need to get a, a soldering iron. We gotta be able to eat some more cookies. Maybe Smokes the Merchant sells a soldering iron. That'd be one way we could get one. Whoa, Kanji. Not drove off the bridge. That would be a disaster. So yeah, we'll just, uh, oh actually, um, I don't even have to do this manually because we're not going to try to disassemble that, so we'll go ahead and do the uh, auto drive thing back down to the bottom. Can't see a path forward, really. Is something blocking your path? Here we go, on the road again. And unfortunately, I guess we're gonna have to batch craft 40 cardboard boxes. <laughs> ah, this game is so insane. I love it. The game you love to hate. The game you hate to love. Cataclysm. Dark days ahead. No, that's not really my uh, 
Advertisement for Cataclysm. Those are the corpses I just passed in the swamp. Yeah, but it's, it's a little too ugly up there for me to really want to hop out of the car and go walking around. Me and Bertie, <clears throat> we can probably handle anything right now, but still, what would be the point? Well, if they were scientists and they had little ID cards on them. I've got the industrial ID cards. I don't think I've got the military or the scientific ID cards yet. So we need to be on the lookout for those. Are y'all proud of me? I'm driving 40 miles an hour. We'll just gauge my progress in the game Cataclysm by how fast I'm able to drive. How about that? I have now reached uh, level 40 in the 0 to 100 scale. Okay, okay, okay. Now, remember, it may take time to decelerate. Whoa! Okay, that was fun. Stop driving. Dino? Dino, Dave? Alright, now, when Birdie gets here, I have her assist me with a batch craft. Okay. We're gonna have to craft box... Craft a small cardboard box. Did it move it up in my... In yeah, right here. It moved it to here. Let's do a batch of 40. How long that's going to take? Five minutes. Is that for the batch? Is Birdie helping? She may not be helping. You put the small cardboard box on the ground times 39. Mm -hmm. And I probably can't pick them all up. Mm -hmm. So if I chat with Dino now. He says, you got the little ones yet? I can say, I found it, but I'm keeping it. I found it, but I'm keeping it. Yep, here it is. He says, oh, this is so great. If you're interested, I have another job for you. Well, um, maybe you can teach me something as payment. He can increase my social. That would be fine. He says, let's begin. All right, good. We'll get some social training from him. We got some from Birdie. Mission, bring 40 small cardboard boxes is successfully completed. Guess they just had to be in the area. They were laying at my feet. Half of them were. But that's cool. That's good. It's hard to, hard to carry 40 of those things. And it looks like we're getting a lot of social training out of that. So that's good. Wilburn said, something's happening. Stop training? Nah, ignore that. From the northeast, you hear someone say, shift it, fellow traveler. Excuse me, amigo, said Todd Norris, the guard. Wonder what's happening. Guards are shifting around, but our social training is far too important to interrupt. Good man, Dino. He's given us a lot of training here. That is just happening really slowly. It's uh, 8 a.m. I think we started this at 7 a.m., so we've been training for about an hour. Dino starts scratching his torso. Uh-oh. Does Dino Dave have coleptic psychosis? He starts to shake uncontrollably. Yeah, I think he does have coleptic psychosis. He's acting like Mark. The doctor starts wheezing and coughing. I don't think the doctor's very well. Alright, I got some training in social. Dino was saying, I think it's starting to kick in. I think that uh, Dino Dave just took some antipsychotics, maybe. Or 
who knows um okay what's our social app Twenty seven percent of level two. All right, let's chat with Dino about his next mission. Is there uh Is there anything else I can do for you? He says these ones are good, good ones. They need something to, you know, bind them together. Surround them. Light side, dark side. Bring me the force. Huh? I'll do it. Oh, man. Thanks so much, my friend. You won't regret it. Well, it's not a problem, but uh, you got any advice? It says, watch out. He's looking for it, too. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Um. Do you need something to eat? He says, yeah. I'm real hungry. And they put drugs in most of the food. Ah, here, uh, now, if I say you can have this granola, is it going to give him all my granola? Here, you can have this granola. He says I can tell when it has stuff in it. It's got a sandy texture, but this doesn't. Thanks again. No problem, dude. See you around. Let's check our granola supply. Okay, we only gave him one granola, so that's good. What is our mission now for him? Oh, bring a roll of duct tape, 200 charges. Okay, this is not a problem, I don't think. And as long as we can, because um, we can buy that duct tape over here and just turn that quest in right away. I think, as long as, it'll, as the rolls will combine, I, I don't know if they will. Let's talk to Smokes. Hey, um, I want to trade for that duct tape you got over there, bud. You got, um, last time I was here, you had some. Yeah, I want, uh, all the duct tape, which is, uh, $2.37 worth. And I wanted to check if he had a, uh, soldering iron, maybe? Nope, doesn't seem to have a soldering iron. So, how much merch do I need to trade this guy for that? Uh, here we go. It's two fifty each, so it looks like uh, one merch. There we go. Looks like a deal. I'll take the trade. That's all for now. Now, if I look at my inventory, though, I've got one hundred and seventy-three duct tape and wait. I should have more duct tape because I didn't use all the duct tape. What? 173? But we had some left over from the cardboard box project. I don't understand. We should have. Aw, oh, man, come on. Let's see if we got... Should have got his duct tape. Let's make sure we got it. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't have any more duct tape because we bought it all. But we should have had some left over. I really don't comprehend how because I thought we did. We made when we made those boxes we needed two hundred, but we had like three hundred and something. So oh 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 it probably went into That's bizarre. Okay, so we're short on duct tape. Dino wants duct tape. I think I'll... Uh, oh. oh, check it out. This is where he's building his little thing. You're hiding in the cardboard fort. What? Okay, that wasn't there before. <laughs> How cool is that? That is alright. I wonder if anybody else could sell us some duct tape. That, that pisses me off. Let's go check our car again. I know we should have more than what we've got. I just don't know what happened. 
Yeah, we don't have any more in here. We've got the drive belts for the other guys. What a bunch of crap, man. I know we should have... We, we had over a hundred left over. But it's all gone. We got a small cardboard box left. Huh. All right, then. Um, no need to waste a bunch of time on it. We're like 23 duct tape short for Dino Dave. Okay, that's fine. Cataclysm. The game you hate to love. I want to quickly turn in the other mission, if possible. I know we're about up against our uh, time. But we may, if we're lucky, be able to turn in these drive belts over at the other place. The sawmill. It's a dangerous drive across, though, if we have to go past the uh, mass grave sites. Depends on what path it wants to take across because the uh, place that we want to go is over here. It's probably going to take us right across its grave sites. Mm. Um. No, we're not driving past the mansion again. No, I swore never again to take that path. We'll just have to drive ourselves across this field. <clears throat> well, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're up against our mission timer. It is time for me to sign off. In the next episode, we will grab more duct tape. We will turn in the drive belts. We'll complete another quest for Dino Dave, feed the beggars, and see if we can recruit one. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Until next time, take care.